Hello and welcome to this loving kindness meditation prior to sleep. My name is Jason Stevenson and I will be taking you on this journey. Though this meditation was originally used in Buddhism, you don't have to be a Buddhist to make it work for you, nor will you have to subscribe to any religion or belief in supernatural. Love and kindness are wonderful things, but often we feel anything but. Sometimes it's easier to feel anger and hate. But author Jonathan Lockwood Huey, also known as the philosopher of happiness, put it best when he said, Forgive others not because they deserve your forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. Now unfortunately, that's often easier said than done. But fortunately, this meditation can help you. So let's begin. So please sitting upright, but comfortably so. If you'd like to rest your back against something, that's fine. Just don't slouch or lean back because doing so will affect your breathing. And if you want to lie down and do this before you drift off to sleep, that's okay too. Just rest your hands, palms face up on your lap or by your side if you're lying down. Now close your eyes and focus on your breathing. It's all right if thoughts and images come in. So long as you keep most of your attention on your breath, you're doing fine. When you see a thought, allow it to be, don't try and push it down, but you simply shift your focus back to your breathing. I want you to remember a time when you did a kind thing for someone. It doesn't have to be dramatic, but I have two conditions. The first is that you did it without a thought of a reward or an influence to that person. And the second is that you didn't later regret what you did. Just reflecting on that, do you remember how it felt? Did it feel good? Did you feel proud of yourself? Did it bring a smile to your face? If you're smiling now, that's all good. That feeling stems from a core goodness within yourself. Now I want you to try to remember what you looked like as a child. The younger, the better. That child you were, for all their faults and mischievousness, deserved patience and understanding. That child you were also deserved love. Could you see yourself wanting to protect and provide for that child? Could you see yourself wanting to hold and comfort that child? Just explore this thought for a moment. Now if you can just mentally repeat after me, for all the ways that I harm myself, negate, doubt, belittle myself, judge or be unkind to myself, through my own confusions, I forgive myself. And if there is a situation I am not yet ready to forgive, I forgive myself for that too. May I feel loving kindness. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I be happy and peaceful.
May I appreciate the gift of just being alive. I'd like you now to bring to mind someone you love dearly. It could be a parent, a child, a friend, or even someone who's passed away. Can you remember their faces? How they move? Do you know why you love that person? Can you remember the things they did to earn your love? How do you feel or how did you feel when they were around you? What does your love feel like? Just spend a few moments exploring this. Imagine they're in front of you now and mentally repeat after me. If I have harmed you in any way, either knowingly or unknowingly, through my own confusions, I ask your forgiveness. If there is a situation you are not yet ready to forgive me for, I will be patient. You have harmed me, too, perhaps knowingly or unknowingly, through your own confusions. But I forgive you. And if there is a situation I am not yet ready to forgive you for, please be patient. May you feel loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you be happy and peaceful. May you appreciate the gift of just being alive. Now please try to hold on to that love and think of someone you neither like nor dislike. It could be your mailman, a co-worker, or simply you see someone every day but have never spoken to. Can you remember their faces? How they move, what they sound like if you've spoken to them. Now your love might be weakening a little at the moment. Try to hold on to that love you felt for the other person as you picture this new one. What if you knew that this person has children they love very much? Children they'd be willing to suffer for. Would that change your feelings about them? Consider that they may have pain and suffering, that they might also want happiness for themselves and those they love. Might that warm you toward them a little? Imagine that they could be kind to you if you gave them a chance. Does the thought of loving them with the same intensity still seem strange? Or 
can you imagine the possibility of it? Could you fake it a little? Could you try to feel the love you felt for the other person and keep this new person's face in mind? Just try to explore this thought over the next few moments. Mentally repeat after me, may you feel loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you be happy and peaceful. May you appreciate the gift of just being alive. Whatever living beings there may be, may they all have happy minds. May I not deceive another nor despise anyone, anywhere, even when angry or upset. May I not wish ill upon another. Just as the mother would protect her only child with her life, even so may I cultivate a boundless love towards all beings. May I radiate boundless love towards the entire world. Unhindered, without ill will, without enmity. I'd like you to go back now and remember the person you love so much. Picture their faces and imagine that they're with you. Remember what it feels like when they're present and rest in that thought for the next few moments. And now the hard part, bring to mind someone you dislike. It doesn't matter why you dislike or hate them, it could even be someone you've never met. Perhaps some public figure whose blood makes you boil for some other reason. If there's no such person in your life, think of someone you've recently had a spat with and are still upset with. I'm going to assume you've brought up someone you dislike. Let your emotions come, but don't try to justify them. Simply let the experience of dislike come. Does your heart beat faster? Is a dialogue now coming into your head along the lines of, 
I should have said this or I should have done that. Focus on your breathing. But don't let the feelings go. I want you to imagine what this person you dislike might look like as a child, long before they created whatever drama it is that upsets you so much. Try to create some emotional distance and imagine how they might act as a child, perhaps when they were three or four. Visualize a smaller them with a higher pitched voice and a face without whatever expression that annoys you so much. Could you see yourself hating this imaginary child? If this child were hurt or upset, could you see yourself wanting to pick them up? Perhaps hugging them to give them some comfort? If you saw this child alone and scared, could you see yourself walking away? Or could you see yourself putting aside your own feelings to comfort someone in the midst of their own pain and suffering? Now imagine this person as they are now. If you saw them alone and scared, far away from wherever it is you have to interact with them, if you saw them vulnerable, suffering and in pain, and know that this is that same child you would have comforted, could you still dislike or hate them with the same intensity? Or could you see yourself softening a little? If you could see this person holding a little child tenderly, perhaps comforting that child, could you see yourself softening a little more? Could you be a little less angry or upset with such a person? If you could talk to the child this person was, what would you say? Mentally repeat after me, if I have harmed you in any way, either knowingly or unknowingly, through my own confusions, I ask your forgiveness. If there is a situation you are not yet ready to forgive me for, I will be patient. You have harmed me, too, perhaps knowingly or unknowingly. Through your own confusions, but I forgive you. And if there is a situation I am not yet ready to forgive you for, 
please be patient. May you feel loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you be happy and peaceful. May you appreciate the gift of just being alive. Whatever living beings there may be, may they all have happy minds. May I not deceive another nor despise anyone anywhere. Even when angry or upset, may I not wish ill upon another. Just as a mother would protect her only child with her life, Even so, may I cultivate a boundless love towards all beings. May I radiate boundless love towards the entire world. Unhindered, without ill will, without enmity. You can stay with this meditation now for as long as you wish. And if you still can't let go, then forgive yourself. You can always return to this exercise at another time.